hold it as well so that I can put it on YouTube. Right, okay. So just sitting down, nice and comfy, however it is that you like to sit. Cross-legged, legs folded, legs straight, doesn't matter as long as you're comfortable and as long as you're sitting up nice and tall. And just take a few deep breaths here. We're gonna center ourselves on our mat, getting ready to work. hand on the side of the head, gently pulling it down, lengthening the side of your neck. And release and take it to the other side. Gently letting the weight of your arm pull on your neck. So you're lengthening it. Get rid of any tension that you might be holding there. And release and just let your head come forward so your chin's on your chest, still sitting up nice and tall. And bind your fingers and let the weight of both arms pull the head forward. So you're lengthening the back of the neck. Taking the head down low as it goes over. 
mobilizing lots of areas of your body with this move. So we like it. And let's go over one more time, all the way. And then all the way back. And let's bring both of our feet in together, pushing the knees down wide, lifting the chest up high. And I really want you to push those knees wide. So you're opening up your hips with this one. And you should feel a nice stretch on the inside thigh as well. And from here, we're gonna really start mobilizing the muscles either side of our spine. So we're gonna start by putting the chin on the chest. And I want you to roll one vertebra at a time, taking your head down to the toes, and then rolling it back up nice and tall. And I'm gonna go forward again, rolling forward, Forehead to your toes as close as it goes and rolling back up again. Make sure you come nice and tall before you do it again. Rolling slowly and rolling back up slow too. And let's do one more time. Rolling forwards. legs out nice and wide, as wide as you feel comfortable, and then trying to get it a little bit further if you can. And we're going to do nice sweeping motions with those arms again, from side to side, taking one hand over and then letting the other one follow through the air, both of them meeting at your toes or at your shins, wherever it is that you can, reach down the side of your leg, and taking your head to your knee again as well. So it's a really big mobilization move. Mobilizing the hips, the shoulders, and the trunk. And get the hamstrings as well as you stretch them out. And let's go over one more time. And then come back to the center. Nice. Hands in front, we're gonna slide them forwards and back. So you're reaching as far forward as you can. Don't put your head down though, okay? You're taking your chest to the floor, but keep your head up, because that will encourage your spine to be nice and straight. And you're just taking your hands as far forward as you possibly can. It's more important how far forward your hands go than how low your chest goes. And every time you go forward, you just try and go a little bit further. Let's do it one more time. Sliding forwards and back. Nice. And let's bring those legs in together so they're nice and long in front of you again. And we're going to put one foot over the knee so you get a nice cross. And then the opposite arm to that knee, I want you to put it against it and then push against it and twist yourself around and look over your back shoulder. I want you to really push this out, all right? Push against that leg and twist that trunk. Releasing any tension that you might be holding in your back and in your core. And you get to a point where you can't go any further, just hold it for a few seconds and then push again, trying to get a little bit more out of it. And come back to the centre. We're going to do that on the other side. So and across your legs. And take the other one over, opposite arm to your leg, goes across, twist, and look over your back shoulder. Get to the point where you can't go any further, hold it for a few seconds, and then push again. And then just repeat it, hold it for a few seconds, and push, hold for a few seconds, and push. Getting a massive twist in that body all around your trunk and release and come back to the center nice let's bring those feet in hands go forward and let's come into our table position so our shoulders are over our hands and our knees are on the floor and we're going to do our cat to cow so we're going to really get that spine moving so we're going to start with cat you're going to push your back up chin to your chest getting a nice arch in your back and then we're going to go to cow, so it's the opposite. 
you push your back down, you push your belly to the floor, and I want you looking up at the ceiling so you get a nice curve in your back. And you want to push your bum out as well, don't tuck that under. You tuck it under on the cat. So let's go back to the cat. Tucking the bum down, pushing the back up, chin to your chest. And to the cow, looking up, pushing that belly down. And you should feel the muscles change along your spine as you stretch and then compress them. Let's do each of them one more time. Let's do the cat. Push it down and let's do the cow. And then let's come back to the center for your table. And let's pop those feet up behind you in a nice strong plank so your body's all in line. And we're gonna slowly lower the body down to Chaturanga, holding it just above if you can. If not, go all the way down. And then push up into your up dog. So your feet are flat on the floor, your knees are on the floor, and you're pushing your chest up. Don't let yourself sink into your shoulders. Push the chest forward. If it's too much, just bend your elbows. Big stretch for your core and your hip flexors. Strengthening your back as well. And let's do down dog. So let's pop the toes to the floor, lift the bum up into the air, and push back into your downward dog. And let's pedal, pushing the heels to the floor, one at a time, strengthening the shoulders as you hold your body up, and mobilizing and stretching the ankles and the calves. Walk these feet forward, all the way to your hands, and let's roll it up nice and slow. With a big inhale up, and an exhale down, lovely. All right, so now that we've got that body a bit warmer, and a bit more mobilized, we're gonna go through our main routine. So the beginning is just like the salutation, and then we're gonna go through our five warrior poses. So feet underneath your hips, let's do a nice big inhale up, reaching nice and high and then forward all the way forward. So your legs are nice and straight, you're letting that upper body collapse over, arms are hanging loose, head is hanging loose, just feeling a nice good stretch in the backs of your legs. And we're going to come up for halfway lift. So lift your body up until you're halfway and your legs and your body form a nice right angle. And you're letting those arms hang still and your back is flat, all right? Don't want to be arching it. Push your chest forward, make your belly flat. Flattening that back. And come back down. We're gonna get those hands flat on the floor. If you need to bend your knees to get there, that's absolutely fine. And we're gonna step back into plank, or if you want to, you can jump, that's up to you. Hold it nice and strong here. We're gonna lower it down to Chaturanga again, and then push up to up dog. And if you wanna make up dog a little bit harder, you just pick your knees up off the floor. So your only points of contact are your feet and your hands. And then toes to the floor and bum up into the air. And let's pedal again. And from here we're going to take things a little bit further. So I want us to lift our left leg up into the air nice and high, as high as you feel comfortable. Hold it here in the three point dog, nice and strong. And then bring that foot forward in line with your front hand, with your left hand, sorry. Now if you can't get it that far forward, don't worry, just bring it as far forward as you can. And from here, hand closest to the foot, 
up into the air and I want you looking up at that top palm so we're opening up your chest as well as your hips and your hip flexors and looking up so you're making that chest big so you can get as much oxygen in as possible and bring that hand down and just switch sides so the other hand goes up into the air looking up at that top palm and have the palm facing the same way as your chest so you don't twist your arm at all just opening up your chest and then bring it down and let's lower the back knee to the floor and let's do some of those we haven't done any lizard yet much of it last week either. So if this is enough for you, stay here, but if you want to take it further, you just drop it down onto your elbows. If you can't quite get to your elbows, stay on your hands, but just bend your elbows till you get to a point where you don't think you can get much further. Every week, just trying to get a little bit further in these stretches to make yourselves a little bit more flexible. Strengthening your legs, your arms, your core everywhere. So now that we've got warrior one, we're gonna to go to warrior two. You're gonna twist your back foot and lower your arms. So your arms are in line with your legs. The front foot is pointing forwards and the back foot is pointing to the side. So you're warrior two. So you're still strengthening those legs, still strengthening those arms. It's just a slightly different pose still strong and we're gonna come forward in our warrior one and I want you looking up at that sorry warrior two and looking up at that front palm at that top palm now the hand can be on the floor or if that is too much I want you to bend your elbow and lean on the thigh if you're in this position and you want to take it further you just drop the back hand round and grab hold of your hands behind you this is bird of paradise it's a little bit more tricky. And a release. And let's come back up to warrior two. And we're gonna do reverse warrior now. So to do this, we're gonna flip the front palm over and lean back. So your back hand goes on the back leg for support and you're looking up at that top palm again. So this is the third warrior pose we're trying. This is warrior, reverse warrior. And then release it back to warrior two and straighten that front leg and relax your arms down. Keep your legs where they are. We're gonna do a warrior three, which we have done. We've never done it in a sequence before. So you're gonna step that foot in and turn it. And what we're going to do is have our hands at our sides and you're going to tip yourself forward, focusing on a point and hold it here. And this is your warrior three. So you can do it with your hands at your sides or at your hands in front of your face, but it's up to you. If you're struggling with the balance, it might be worth putting your hands out and keeping it there and release it down for us at the end. And I want you to take a big step back and twist that foot again. And let's go back into warrior two. So we've done four warrior poses now. One, two, reverse warrior and warrior three. So now we're gonna do humble warrior. Take your hands down with the knee still bent. And I want you to rest your chest on your thigh and take your hands behind your back and tip them over. So this is our humble warrior. Opening up the chest, but still strengthening the legs. And release the hands to the floor. And 
then take that foot back into plank. And let's lower it down to Chaturanga and push up into Up Dog. And we're going to pop those toes to the floor, lift the bum up into your Down Dog and pedal your feet. Towards your hands and rolling up nice and slow. With a nice big inhale up at the top and an exhale down. Lovely. So there are all our warrior poses. We're going to do them again obviously on the other side because we like to keep things even. So let's have our feet underneath our hips. Take a nice big inhale up, reaching nice and high before falling all the way forward. And just let yourself hang here for a little bit with those nice straight legs. And we're going to come up for halfway lift. So lift the back up so it's nice and flat at a right angle with your legs and your body. Let the arms hang. There's no tension there yet. We're going to strengthen them on the warrior. And let's lower it back down as low as you can. And we want to get those hands flat, so if you need to bend your knees, that's absolutely fine. And either jump or step into your plank. And just holding it here nice and strong. And letting the core do its work. And let's lower it down to Tataranga, holding it just above the floor. Good strengthener for your chest and arms. And push forward into your up dog. Remembering that you can lift your knees up if you want to make it a little bit harder. We don't have to. I always like up dog to be quite a relaxing stretch. So I don't like to put too much pressure on it. So I always keep my knees down. But the option is there if you want it. And let's put those toes to the floor. Lift the bum up into the air. Into your down dog. And pedal. Pushing the heels to the floor. So we lifted the left leg on the last one, so let's lift the right this time, lifting it up into the air nice and high. Holding it here in your three point dog. Feeling the strength, feeling the stretch. And then bring that foot forward in line with your right hand. So push your hips down. Remember that if you can't get it that far forward, it's absolutely fine. Just take it back a little bit. Just every single time you do this, just try and get a little bit further till you can. And hand closest to the foot, up into the air, opening up your chest and looking up at that top palm. And your palm is facing the same way as your chest. So you're not twisting your arm at all. Big, powerful position here. And then lower it back down to the floor. Legs stay where they are, but just twist your body a little bit and lift the other palm up. And you're looking up at it again, opening up your chest again, not twisting your arm. lower that back down to the floor and let's drop the back knee down as well and relax that foot off and we're going to do our lizard pose again so if you want to stay in this position that's fine but if you want to take it further you just drop yourselves down onto your elbows remember that if you can't get there that's absolutely fine you just tip yourself as low as you can on your hands and you should really feel good stretch now all across your hamstring, keeping your hips and your hip flexor. Good stretch, the lizard pose. Strength and a lot of control. So you need to be in the right mindset to do. 
one point for your balance. You're just going to lift the back knee up into your warrior. Warrior one. Strong positions, the warriors. Lifting the chest up. Strengthening the legs and the back and the shoulders. And we're going to twist to warrior two. So you twist the back foot so it's pointing to the side. Lower the arms down so they're in line with your legs. And you look down your fingertips. You stretch them as far as you can as well. So they're nice and long. Keeping that front knee bent in your warrior two. And we're going to get ourselves in our bird of paradise position if you want to. So you can drop down and lean on that knee or you can take it down to the floor. And then if you want to take this further, you wrap the hand around the back and grab hold of the other one. warrior. So flip the front palm over and lean back into your reverse warrior, looking up at that top palm. Back 
down and let's roll over onto our backs. And we're going to bring one knee in and sending it across to the other side. Take a nice twist in your body again, pushing the knee to the floor, hand is wide and you're looking towards that hand away from your knee. So you're twisting the whole of your body. Throughout the day, throughout our little workout, just flow to the 